Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to Paradise Valley. This is episode number 23. And in today's episode, we're gonna be working on these apartment complexes. In looking at the cinematics, uh, or a lot of my cinematics, I somehow decided that I wanted things to be more full. I wanted the city to be more represented. And so I wanted to really kind of fill in a lot of the areas around the strip with these apartment complexes and housing um, subdivisions and in the next episode probably gonna do an industrial area but yeah i just really wanted to flesh things out a little bit uh with these apartment complexes this one right here i'm using the vistas at paradise valley which have been on the workshop for a while and I go into a little bit of detail with this particular apartment complex. With the second apartment complex that you're going to see me working on is a low income apartment called the Imperial Courts. And this is based on a housing project in LA. Um, uh, with these, I just kind of copy and paste a lot of these apartment complexes once I get them detailed. Uh, one thing that I'm going to have to really start working on is really going into detail or really being able to finish a block before I start copying and pasting because I end up having to redo a lot of the copying and pasting I do because I end up changing some things. And in recording a lot of the footage for this episode, I realized that I really need a lot more variety. So y'all hit the thumbs up on this video. 
if y'all want to see me create uh, some more apartments and some more uh, LA inspired and Southwest inspired apartment complexes, but just the overall goal of filling out a lot of those areas is to really create filler buildings and buildings without a whole lot of detail that you're not really going to be able to see because this series is focused on building the strip and the casinos on the strip and really everything that everything else that I'm building is really just for background noise so right here I'm starting the initial layout for the Imperial Courts housing projects and I definitely have to give a big shout out and a big thanks to this grown guy on Reddit he posts a lot of amazing screenshots and, and screenshots that go into an insane amount of detail. These apartments are specifically a request from him. And I really enjoy making these. Um, there's a, a 2x8 version, which is the longer version that you're seeing right here. And there's also a shorter 2x4 version, as well as a one-story 2x4 version. And so I really enjoyed adding a lot of variety to these specific buildings. And you'll also see later on in the episode, once I finish detailing uh, this complex, I end up using the same model as the 2x4 uh, building. And I really just added, or I changed some of the textures around, uh, and I gave it this clay roof, the typical orange or red clay roof that you see in the southwest as well as some color variations to the roof and to the sides and so that basically adds you know an almost uh, limitless options between those three basic apartment buildings with these buildings the imperial court buildings they come in this uh, light teal or green that you see on screen and you won't get to see it in this episode or any other episode but what you can do with these buildings there is a color map on them you can open the painter mod and change the color of the building so it's not this teal and really come up with a lot of different varieties and color options for that as well in detailing the imperial courts apartment complexes i really try to take my time out and go into a little bit of more detail than i normally would uh, especially since these are assets that are on the workshop and I wanted to have good detailed screenshots that really showcase the asset. So I did go into a little more detail than I normally would here, as well as you'll see later on in the episode, just kind of having this layout and these details already, and then coming back with a, a different asset that uses the same model as the Imperial Ports and pretty much keep the same detail that I had. And overall, doing this episode was just a real departure from or a real break from doing a lot of the big casinos and resorts that I'm used to with this series. But hopefully it just kind of keeps things fresh and gives a little bit more variety to the series. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Should I do more episodes like this where I'm doing something that's completely unrelated to anything dealing with a resort or a casino? Right here I'm using these new SoCal apartment blocks that are new on the workshop and um, I don't know I don't know if I'll keep them I probably will keep them just because uh, again this is really just filler area that I want to get filled in and have something there I really like the idea of just being able to plop a whole block down and not worry about rearranging the different buildings and I really like the the detail that he already adds on the buildings as far as the driveways and uh, the fences and all of that I'm not sure about the um, the ploppable grass that comes with it it just kind of makes things a little bit harder uh, as well as um, 
you know, not to judge anybody's assets, but I'm not too crazy about the uh, texture on the models. Uh, they are definitely uh, really basic, and and I know that was the intent somewhat of the authors to really create a, a real basic model so that it's not resource heavy. But just compared to the level of detail of the inferior courts and the Los Colinas houses that you see around them, it really makes them stand out. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about those assets in the comments. Should I keep them? Should I change them? I did want to have a whole lot of apartment complexes that have the same layout and the same textures and the same models. So I definitely want to get a, a little more variety in terms of the apartment complexes. I might do a quick workshop search uh, just to see what else is available. It just occurred to me to use some of the Green Cities buildings, which, you know, I think about doing that every uh, occasionally. But by the time I'm in game, again, I completely forget about it. And probably one of the main reasons behind that is because of Find It. There's no specific tab for those in Find It, and they don't show up under the residential. You have to type like uh, Echo to be able to pull them up and find it. And so I always just forget about them. But a lot of those buildings are really perfect for uh, the type of houses that you see around the Las Vegas Strip and I guess just around Las Vegas and in the Southwest period. But y'all, that's going to wrap things up for me for this episode. Do me a favor and hit the thumbs up on this video as well as other videos on the channel. It really helps YouTube to promote the video more so that it can reach more people. And it only takes like a half of a second to click the thumbs up button, which is infinitely smaller than the amount of time that it takes to make these videos, let alone make some of the assets that I've made for this game. So, so definitely hit the thumbs up button to show your support for the channel, as well as hitting the subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, check out the links below. Check out my Facebook page. Follow me on Twitter for a lot of different screenshots and upcoming projects that I'm working on as well as Patreon. If you really want to take a look at some of the assets that I'm working on in the future, it's kind of like my personal blog that I use to let everybody know some of the things that I'm working on. And of course, drop any comments or questions y'all have down below. I really appreciate a lot of the love and support that I get, and I hope I will see everybody in the next episode.